All right, hello guys. So welcome. Today we are going to be doing uh, how to get lots of XP really quickly, I guess. So all you're gonna need for this build is you're gonna need some green monos and you're gonna need two elephants. Now, these elephants aren't high level. I suggest you use like level 97 elephants. That's where it works the best. But I'm just doing this as an example, as a demonstration. So, hold on, we need one more green mono. For this, you're gonna need your infinite green mono farm, which is in this video right here. And you're gonna need some elephants. So you wanna get your green mono farm going. You just wanna get it going pretty good. Um, and if you, if you wanna learn how to make a green mono farm, then you can just go to the other video that I made. But uh, then you wanna put on your elephants and put them in here. Put them into your breeder. And you wanna have a channel, basically. You wanna have a, a channel where it goes from this the green mono farm to your elephant farm and you want your elephant farm to go out onto conveyor belts that are surrounded by walls that cover the uh the thing so the elephants can't get out now it takes a bit he has to kind of walk forward a bit to get in there because you know it's not um it's not right on there but eventually he will walk forward and get in there and i actually should probably take away these walls i was doing that for the chicken farm on the stream but this, the, what this will do is you'll get a bunch of elephants, right? You have to have this giant cage. Or you have to have a giant cage to keep them, which should be at least like three blocks tall, you know, because they're pretty tall and they will be able to get out eventually if they, um, if it's like two blocks. But yeah, the screen model farm is uh, the main thing. That's the hardest part probably, but it's also the most crucial because you want to get the same level of elephants over and over. See, if both of these were like level 90 elephants, then every elephant I produce would be level 90 or level 90 and above type thing. Um, and they'll all be high level. And the thing is, when you're doing the XP farm, you want to have all high level elephants. You don't want to have the low level ones because the low level ones don't get that much XP. As you can see, our model farm is working pretty well. We got everything going here. Now, the next important feature of this is you're going to need... You don't need a magic build per se, but you should get a decent magic weapon um, for this. See, this elephant just got out. You want to uh, monitor that. Well, he can just drown, I guess. But they're stacking up in the corners. Maybe I should just make it like one wall taller in the corners. Jesus, they are definitely stacking. I recommend just doing this then because we obviously don't want them to stack so okay just do this on the outskirts have a bunch of walls so they can't stack up and get out but uh, the next part <coughs> of this is the build so you're gonna need a decent magic weapon this is my magic weapon I'll be using um, it's pretty good. This is my best magic weapon I have, but you can totally use like a whirlwind or even a normal staff, a normal magic staff, anything that gives magic attack. And you're going to want to have a maxed out frost mine. Now frost mine is the skill in the magic skill tree. It's down here. This frost mine right here. You might want to have mana siphon or, uh, backwater formation or something that boosts your damage as well. But once you get enough. Well, they really are getting out. You'll probably just have to contain that. Uh, you guys can probably find a better design than I can. Holy crap. But, um... Yeah, you guys can probably find a better design. But this is meant just to show you the idea. Um, now, once you have all your high-level elephants... Obviously, these ones aren't high-level because I didn't capture high-level ones. But, eventually, once they get... If you have the level 97 elephants or anything like that... You want to wait till it fills up relatively, like, mostly. You want to wait till most of this is filled up. And what that will do, it'll, it will allow your frost mine to kill multiple elephants at once. Um, getting you the most amount of XP. This is also a good ivory farm and bone farm and kind of money farm. But, um, it's mainly for XP and it's mainly how I got to level 50. 
So, this will take a while to fill up. And I don't know why they're going to the corners. Probably because they want to get out. I pro will probably look. If you watch the streams, uh, I'll probably be looking for a method to keep them in the uh, in the enclosure. Maybe you can just make higher walls, but... Anyways. You want to uh, have them come here. And I guess I'll just use this as an example because I'm not going to wait till a bunch of them come. But then you just want to go to a good position. Don't be pointing. Do not be pointing towards your actual farm that's producing them. Do not. The only reason we're using a conveyor belt, by the way, is because we need the water to be there for the infinite green mono farm. We could use a large cooking pot, but that does cause a couple problems. So I recommend the water shown in the video that I made before. But you want to be facing away from the f actual farm itself. Somehow he got out, bro. Jeez, I gotta get gotta fix that. But this is just meant to show you guys the main idea. But once you get enough, you want to be looking away, and you want to just put down the frost mine, and it will probably kill a lot of them. Now, I don't, since I'm max level, I can't really demonstrate how much XP you get. But if you try this yourself, you get crazy amounts of XP. It, it, you can easily get level 50 if you just grind this a bit, especially since you're using a green mono auto healer. Um, you'll obviously be getting consistent level 90s if you have level 90s already. You won't be going down in level or anything like that, so it'll be easy to get that. I'll probably just, I'll probably just increase the walls, to be honest. I'll probably just make them taller. But, um, yeah, I hope this video can help you guys out, and uh, you should totally try it out yourself to figure it out. But make sure to remember, you need a green auto healer. You need a big enclosure that hopefully you can find a better way to keep them out than I can. And you need to have high level elephants and a magic build with Frostmine. Frostmine is the most important because, yeah, you can use um, the lightning. The lightning will kill them, but it just won't kill as many as quickly. The frost mine does great AOE damage and will kill multiple in a row. That's why it's so good. So if I come over here and I do this to the frost mine, I kill so many of them. But uh, yeah, hope this video can help you guys out, and I hope you guys have a nice day. <laughs> bye bye. All right, so I'm recording this a bit after, but I, I found out a couple ways to improve the. Uh, if you use this exact farm, I found a couple ways to improve the security although elephants are kind of wild and any big animal like this is kind of wild in the first place so it's pretty hard to keep them contained the best way is obviously just to sit up here with a bunch of monster prisms but I did put this down here to keep them in and yeah I think it's pretty difficult though you'd have to make something like super tall just to like to completely like make it so they can't get out but I guess if you're constantly killing them, it'll be pretty hard for them to get out, so. Maybe I could put, like, more conveyor belts pushing them towards the back wall, but then they'd be able to get out the back wall, so I don't know. You guys can probably experiment with it and find a better way than I can. Um, but yeah, uh, again, I hope you guys have a nice day. And, um, yeah, bye-bye.